this book is set in Montreal, and this opening segment is, um, well, the time of, of the day will probably give you a hint as to what's been going on here. 2.29 a.m., Tuesday, January 1st, 2008. Heading the gruesome ways to die list is decapitation. Next comes burning, concomitant with the value-added agony of asphyxiation from dense black smoke. A dozen years ago, a woman, the seat she was strapped in, and a nearby chunk of fuselage were propelled through clouds, courtesy of a spot of Semtex. That ranks third in my book. In fourth place must be drawing and quartering. Drowning affected by gaping ragged shark gashes, heart-piercing half-foot stainless steel bolts fired from crossbows, crumbling bones rattling in resonance to the frequency of excruciation provided by billions of cancer cells. I could fill a dozen pages with such gems, but surely no gateway to the great unknown horrifies, like dying in one's sleep. 